Yo, yo, so, um, this video right here is uh, vlog events day number two. Uh, I hope y'all enjoy this. Definitely let me know if y'all want more videos in regards to this, but let's get into it. Yo, yo, what is up, everybody? Today, I want to make a quick video about, um, because a lot of you have asked, like, what two different positions in different departments do. Um, again, I'm a steward in MSC, but I do kind of know what like OS is or wipers do. And um, we're going to touch up on that real quick. A quick video, I don't want to be doing this forever. I only got like 15 minutes, but um, okay. So if you want to be a Merchant Mariner, there are ways to come in as an entry level and that's a wiper, SU or steward um, and OS. Um, that's regardless if you come with the MSC or SIU or um, what other maritime company that there is um, and they're all our entry level positions now with MSC you can see like base pay I think it might be like 26 K or something like that that's your base pay um, for the most part that's the same all around 26 27 28 that's probably your base pay all around in any uh, maritime company as the entry level position but mind you don't you forget all your money comes for overtime and then if you watch like my previous video I put it right here I talk about like how overtime works and all that whatnot but I'm not here to talk about that today I want to tell you like kind of the description of what SU's do or stewards do and like what OS's do and wipers do again I can't go in full detail on like the other two wiper and OS but I do kind of get the gist of what they do because like a lot of my friends are those positions and uh I mean I've I didn't fully sail as a wiper but I've done wiper work and I didn't fully sail as an OS but I was like pretty much doing a lot of OS work on like a couple of those ships for like an extended period of time because they were so shorthanded I did go over there um, but anyways that's a, a story for another time but uh okay with my current position now um, a steward so you're pretty much with MSC it's called a supply utility but let's just call it a steward because that's outside of MSC it's steward so let's call it a steward a steward you work directly for the they would have a chief steward um, and then that's the person that's pretty much in charge of everybody as far as the cooks you and um, that's pretty much it in charge of the cooks and you and us so what he would do he'll delegate different work for uh, like specific people on these class of ships that I'm on just technically usually only three SU's um, or stewards as you want to call it um, so I am generally pots and pans I wash dishes for a living um, as y'all see that's pretty much what I show y'all and then you have your collateral duties in regards like you may have to clean bathrooms I may or I do I have to clean the bathrooms and I have to keep a p-way clean or a hallway clean which is like sweep and mop it I don't do it every day but I typically do it every uh, like at least once a week as far as like the hallway but I do clean the bathrooms every day because that is important um, but there are different ships have different like things you would have to do so on my not this previous one but the one where I was on the the tanker that I was on um, I was again I was the pots and pans guy where every the galley not the galley the mess deck but where you get your food so not the actual mess deck but the mess deck hall not the place where you sit or you get your food you, you get what I'm saying so I just had to keep that swept mop wipe the walls make sure everything is clean so like that could be like your collateral duties it's any like a steward is any uh, cleaning position in the living spaces when I say living what living and eating spaces on the inside of the ship essentially like uh, the mess decks the uh, again the living spaces which is your state rooms uh, I mean for the most part if you are a steward you don't clean anybody's stateroom besides officers and the only time you do that is if they actually want it done and usually they only want like you to give them clean linen you might have to change the sheets every once in a while um, and clean their bathroom but that's usually the only time you'll go in somebody else's room and clean it um, but that also depends on the kind of ship you are if you're on like the one of the bigger ships 
like let's say you're on an AKE you go in if they said hey all, all I want is the bathroom clean and um, to just to give me new sheets you don't got to make my bed so you just give them new sheets whenever they need it they'll usually sit the old ones outside of their room and then you come grab you give them new ones um, and then you just clean the bathroom a lot of times they'll have like a schedule like let's say one of them was on watch let's say you're, you're cleaning a, a second officer's room they'll be on watch you go clean their room uh, you when I say clean you're not really going in there like scrubbing everything you just go in there like if you got to sweep sweep it up um, you got to clean the bathroom clean the bathroom a lot of times you get for me anyways I never really had to do it I did it I only did it one time on one ship but when I say one time I only had one ship where I actually had to clean people's stateroom um, but even then it was kind of like it, it wasn't a big deal um, a lot of times they just like hey all I want is sheets and then they'll take care of the rest of it and they'll probably put their trash outside their room and just come collect their trash uh, I know it sounds like damn that feels demeaning but it's really it's housekeeping work you know what I'm saying to be a steward is really to be a housekeeper a busboy and a pots and pans man you know what I'm saying and I know what you're saying is like, damn, I feel like, isn't that like a servant or whatever, a housekeeper? Yeah, yeah, essentially you are, you know what I'm saying? But we do make this kind of money doing that. So, again, as y'all saw in my previous video, I ain't going to put it there, but on my previous video, y'all saw that I made, I was making about 4000 maybe 42 43 every two weeks. So, you can definitely make the money out here. Um, even doing a job like this. So that's pretty much what it is to be a steward on these ships or a sub SU on these ships um, in the MSC anyways. Again, I don't really know how it is with other companies, but from what I've gathered, a lot of people tell, tell me it's the same, around the same. Um, now, deck department, OS, that's the entry level, OS. Deck department, you're pretty much working on everything like cargo handling, um, you'll be on watch depending on the ship you'll be on watch or you uh, a lot of most OS's that I know they was on watch you pretty much just walking around the ship making sure everything is good you know what I'm saying but like not the engine spaces just above the ship just making sure all the spaces are good there's no leaks anywhere stuff like that um, again I'm not a I'm not in the deck department I'm not an OS so I don't exactly know exactly what they do all the time but I have sailed as like OS for a little bit or just didn't so you would help with any kind of cargo handling um, and these are on the bigger ships on these ships I would also be helping on the cargo handling you know what I'm saying but on the bigger ships you would help with cargo handling you'd be doing stuff like that um, nothing crazy um, and then the move up from OS would be AB you go to school there or after you got your six months of sea time as OS, you go to school, get your AB, and then pretty much AB is just a glorified OS, to be honest, if you want to be completely honest. But it's also really, from everything that I've seen, it's all relatively easy. It's uh, same difference, same, same. You just be doing a lot of cargo handling and everything outside, as far as that. Like you see people pulling lines and stuff like that, that's usually OS's and AB's and both and stuff like that. That's the deck department. Um, entry level engine department that's where I wanted to go that's where you got wiper um, well it's just wiper it would be the wiper position and that's pretty much the same thing as the SU but just in the engine space uh, nothing crazy you'll be in the engine space wiping stuff but most of the time they'll be trying to teach you they'll be trying to teach you everything that you need to know in regards to becoming the next level up which will get your Q med and that's you be so you can stand watch and stuff like that so wiper is just is it's the same thing as being a steward in the, just in the engine department. So you'll be cleaning oil spills, following what the engineer tells you to do. Hey, go do this, go do that type stuff. So that's essentially what the wiper is. Um, again, all these are entry level positions, so the money is pretty much the same. There's just the the lateral move or not the lateral the move up is more potential in the deck and engine side compared to the steward side because unless I want to be a cook there's not really a level up so when you come out here try to push for specific positions don't if I knew what I know now I would have pushed for another position but I didn't know so it is what it is um, but again other companies to move up may not be as difficult that is is with MSC 
but for the most part that's pretty much the entry level positions I, I know I didn't put too much like detail in here I might show like showcase like some of the stuff that I do in the within the video but I do hope this helps I hope it encourages you guys because all this stuff that I've been doing the money that I make you can make it too you know what I'm saying this isn't the end-all be-all for me but it definitely puts that first step forward you know what I'm saying but I love you guys thank you for watching and if you haven't don't forget to hit that like hit that subscribe and I love you deuces Ch -ch -ch.